weather dealt a blow to New England overnight. Tree after tree snapped, blown over, and there is damage across the state. Those strong winds battered dozens of communities. Now the cleanup is underway to remove the trees and try to fix those poles. WBZ's Bill Shields is live tonight in Sharon with more on the damage there. Bill? I like that line you used. A nice blow in New England. Yeah, it was blowing this morning, all right. Woke my dog up even. However, it's nice and calm now. That's the good news. But look at this behind me. Here's about a 4,000 pound pine tree snapped off right over here. It hit a house, crashed into the roof, crashed through the roof, and there was a woman sleeping in the bedroom right there. But luckily, she wasn't hurt. It was, uh, it was quite, uh, quite, uh, uh, an awakening experience. <laughs> like most of us, the Snyders were sound asleep at 4.30 this morning when 50 mile an hour winds roared through Sharon. Then they heard the deafening bang. At first I thought it was thunder. You know, I, I knew it was stormy out. I didn't know what was going on. You're sound asleep. You really don't process what's happening. This 4,000 pound pine tree snapped, crashing onto the roof then collapsing the ceiling in their daughter's room. And I heard the crack, and I, and it was, uh, I knew it was a tree because we've had trees fall before. And then when it rocked the house, I immediately knew I said something hit the house bad. Their daughter wasn't hurt, but what a way to wake up. Well, she said she was uh, actually, uh, kind of, she thought it was kind of a dream until uh, she saw us and looked up in, into the corner of the room and realized what had happened. In Hopkinton, trees covered a residential street. And in Wareham, Seth Miranda couldn't believe his eyes. One tree damaged both his car and his home. The tree must have snapped right in half from a wind gust and uh, just took the car out and then landed on our house, waked up all, our, uh, all the kids and got us pretty scared, so. And the Snyders aren't too worried about the pine tree in the front yard that they can get rid of that in due course. However, they do have some workers coming over here tonight to board up the house. And you know what occurs to me? It's just the beginning of winter. This is just a harbinger of things likely to come. Reporting live from Sharon, I'm Bill Shields, WBZ News. Back to you guys. Bill, thank you.